Hi, everybody. This is Alan Fine. I'm here with Amanda Elder, who's the chief commercial officer and member of the management board for Kapinski. And we're at the pre pre opening of the Cabritz Resort and Spa, Kapinski on Dominica. And this is Insider Travel Report. How long have you been open and what's the what's the story? Well, Alan, it's wonderful to welcome you and to have everybody watching us and talking a little bit about Dominica. We're trying to make sure that we say Dominica so we distinguish from the Dominican Republic. Right. Very different places. Uh, we opened October the 14th and we are so pleased to say this is a really soft, very pre-pre-opening as you referred to it mm -hmm. uh, and we've got a lot of the CARICOM market enjoying us at the moment. That's the surrounding islands, Guadeloupe, St. Martin area, uh, some from the Antilles. So we're just starting to introduce the resort and then we're getting ready for the international travellers that we look forward to over that Christmas and peak, peak time. Well, it's really, uh, you, you have a group here now, who, who's, who's visiting that I'm a part of? Here? Well, Welcome again, because this is truly an illustrious group of the most senior travel advisors, travel owners, uh, out of the US, out of UK. We have some fabulous media with us. And this is a three and a half day event to really introduce what we're doing here in Dominica and also to listen and make sure that we're doing exactly what you need us to do with the Dominican people to deliver to the American and the UK and, and the European market. So we've come together to talk about industry expectations, transportation, uh, delivery of services here uh, at the Cabritz Resort. And so it's almost, it's been like a focus group. We're all chipping in and trying to make it the best it can be. Absolutely. And I have to say that the spirit in which that they're giving us this amazing feedback is just really amazing. We so appreciate appreciate that it's so positive. We have a lot to do, but we've actually achieved a lot already. And there's been so much training and so much time and resource invested in making this beautiful re resort ready for international market. But I think with this group with us here for these three days, we're going to learn so much more and we're ready to take on the challenge. It's really exciting to be here. And I said pre pre on purpose mm -hmm. because it's exciting to see it. It's it, instead of seeing a rendering, I'm watching it be rendered in front of me. And we're going to show you people working and building and trees starting to grow. Oh, it's yeah. really something. Yes, absolutely. And I think, you know, even upon arriving to the island, uh, the driver will talk to you about the effects of the hurricane that was just uh, over two years ago now. And the incredible restoration, the uh, l the lush, you know, beautiful rainforest, the uh, areas that we've been surveying while we're seeing this amazing island and the way it's regenerated and rejuvenated itself. So this has not taken very long at all. And I know that the resort, although new with its beautiful lush grounds and everything let's come back in six months and take another look Alan because I'd love everybody to see it in six months time let's now talk about the accommodations please mm, we have 151 rooms and suites some are villas uh, almost all have beautiful water views and they're very spacious uh, from 40 odd square meters um, the suites go up exponentially from there and the appointments are beautiful our owners range developments have really spent a lot of money and they've spent a lot of time considering the amenities and the appointments within the rooms and the suites so we're very proud of the product and we can't wait to get the new photography live let me talk about the um, uh, so for me, um, I needed a converter for those uh, U.S., uh, but I was able to, uh, there was USB uh, connections. Yes. And of course, the, the, let's talk about the amenities. Mm. Uh, what kind of... Uh, so we have Ferragamo, our partnership with the beautiful brand Ferragamo. So throughout the rooms and the resort, we have the larger size bottles. So we are talking, you know, sustainability and recyclable, larger, beautiful Ferragamo bottles. Um, the lotions, the potions, by the bedside, we have the mosquito repellent, should you uh, need that. Although I didn't see any. No, no, I, I have to say they, they haven't been affected. But it's a local, mis mis everything's local. Yes, yeah, so this has all been crafted locally. Um, uh, and we're involving the people of Dominica and their uh, arts and crafts to ensure that we have the best of everything from the local area. 
Well, so giant, uh, the great bathrobes, thirsty towels, yes. huge. They're like four foot, five foot towels. Well, you would expect that. Uh, you know, it's a luxury resort. People Super. want to come and really feel that they have all of these things that, uh, that they would uh, have in a, in a luxury environment. And I really like the water park, which is my shower. Oh. <laughs> it's a double shower with like a hand shower on both sides. You can get spritz from every direction. Absolutely enormous glass walk into showers. And as you say, a little bit like a water park. I love that description. I'm going to use that, Alan. But it's just rainforest ready. Mm -hmm. And we want people to come here and explore the destination, but also feel that they can truly relax. They don't need to go out of the resort once they've seen some of these beautiful waterfalls. They've dived, they've hiked, they've enjoyed Dominica for what it is, but stay a little bit longer and truly enjoy your room, your suite. Well, I'm still talking about the room now. I want everyone to know that um, the internet here is outstanding. I, w I was shocked. Um, I was getting 96 up and 96 down for those of you who know what that means. Yeah, no, it's an incredible connection and we felt that this was truly a key because in Kempinski we're talking a lot about what I refer to as the hybrid traveller and that means we're never completely on vacation and we're definitely not always completely working. So I think we've realised that here and this is why we spent a lot of time and resource and obviously a lot of money to ensure that this connection was absolutely state of the art for the island. And for those of you who like to Chromecast your TV, you can do that here too. So I was able to see all my shows on the TV. Well, let's hope people are going to have a little romance and a little bit of sightseeing. That too. Maybe not so much TV, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Let's talk about dining here, please. Mm. So we have a few options, as you would expect. We have a beautiful Cabritz Marketplace, which is what we would refer to as the all-day dining option. Uh, today, we had some beautiful lobster that was perfectly cooked by our chef. We had some seared tuna. So I guess what I'm saying is that in addition to um, the fabulous meats, the chicken, we have actually local chicken here. Uh, you know, we have beautiful seafood, and I think this is what the signature is, but grills, healthy salads, healthy meats, options uh, and then you can have a few delicacies and be naughty with a few beautiful desserts well, if you're eating carbs is a whole bread area and then a dessert area well, this is about, this is really what Kempinski is known for. Um, European hospitality has to feel real. Although we really want to talk about the cultural empathy, we want the true essence of what is Dominica, but we're Kempinski, and that is a, a differentiation point for our brand. So we have our sparkling wine option on the buffet breakfast that is known with throughout Kempinski, throughout the world. We have our beautiful German breads and our European breads. Uh, and I'm glad that you've enjoyed that today at lunch, Alan. <laughs> Then, of course, uh, we all want the beachside dining, so we have the Beach Club. Uh, and this is, again, you know, really healthy options and fun options and a lot of grill and chef will cook right in front of you. But you are literally hearing the waves lapping as you're enjoying that rendezvous with your loved one or with your family. Uh, we have Swim Up Bar, uh, you know, in the pool. So of the five pools that we have here, we have Lap Pool, dedicated pool to our beautiful spa, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, but we also have that swim up bar option and I've noticed a few of our guests already really enjoying that today. And the, what, how big is that pool? Like an acre? I'm, 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 get, I'm joking but I mean there's a, that's a huge pool that you can also see when you're eating there. It's an enormous pool and I think you know this is really something that's so beautiful about this resort you just about cannot miss seeing water mm. and I think somebody was telling me that there are 27 different vantage points that they feel are the most Instagrammable moments from the Brits Resort and Spa here in uh, Kempinski, Dominica. We also have a Japanese option. So uh, Bonsai uh, will be opening by Christmas and this will be the third uh, evening dinner option for our beautiful guests that come to stay with us. And, uh, and last but not least, what's the name of the rum bar? Oh, rum fire. So let's not forget rum fire. I think there were a few people out late last well, night. Well, let me tell you, it's like Baskin Robbins for rum flavors. <laughs> you can mix, match, and taste all kinds cinnamon, yes. uh, uh, what was it, uh, coffee. Yes. Coconut rum. I mean, you've got absolutely everything. And melon. I, I'm trying to uh, Yeah. This is nuts. I'm not sure you tried all of them, but we have uh, other times. But, you know, I think what I love about this is that the Dominican people are very passionate about this and we hear about it in the Caribbean but this rum, the tastings, the trying, the being very clever about the way they're crafting using these rum flavours. So please come try that rum fire. I think it's going to be a fantastic opportunity for people. So the, let's talk about the public areas. This, we're right now in the lobby 
with the very high ceilings. I feel very spoiled because I can look 360 degree from where I'm sitting and I wish the camera could follow. No, they will. No, we have B-roll. We must do that. We must. Because I'm talking, you know, absolutely enormously high ceilings here. This beautiful use of timber, local timber. Um, the colours and the furnishings are so in keeping, the, the greens and the blues. I think it's really tranquil, very, very tranquil, very resort-like, not fussy not over busy and I think that uh, the interior design is just beautiful. And everywhere you, you look you're looking out at water. Yes absolutely I mean just the, the eye and also uh, the incredible um, mountains and uh, the vistas here are magnificent and I think because it's so largely undiscovered people might expect that it's somewhat similar to what they've seen in other islands of the Caribbean and it's of equal or surpassed beauty perhaps because it is really unspoiled and untouched but it's different. It, there's something very mystical, in my opinion, about Dominica. And I, I truly think people need to come and see it, seeing is believing when it comes to the island and to our resort. As you walk toward the water, you get to the beach. Absolutely. And to me, this is a very interesting part of our resort. It is a black volcanic sand beach, which is really quite unusual to a lot of people and perhaps something they've not experienced before. And I personally love the fact that you literally walk from the pool deck down a few stairs and you are into the water. And this water is beautiful. Blue, green and so clear. It's just fantastic. What kind of water sports will you have? We are going to have absolutely everything here and I think when it comes to catamaraning, uh, to water sports, uh, canoeing, I want to say that it's going to be a bespoke journey for each individual family or guest. So we want to tailor your water sports dream to your adventure and that's what's going to be very special about this place. So it's coming, we're launching our water sports platform in just the next couple of weeks and uh, we have an, an incredibly professional uh, French company and a team, a fabulous team, we met them today, who are uh, very excited about bringing this uh, personalised attention to each and every family or each and every couple that, that want to come to the resort. And you have a spa and a fitness centre. Yes, so Kempinski the Spa is renowned throughout many of our properties around the world. We've introduced it here, but I want to bring back that notion of cultural empathy. Our beautiful, natural, timber-looking spa pavilions will feature volcanic mud scrubs. That are local. Local coconut, using the local coconuts here to bring a different flair altogether. We're going to use natural ingredients, the plant life, beautiful here in Dominica, and they are going to feature on the spa menu in addition to what our international travellers and those that love Kempinski brand have been enjoying throughout Kempinski the spa elsewhere. Well, we're going to show them the spa and we're going to show them also the plants that are, I can't wait till they grow up and it becomes this forest that you walk into. Absolutely. I mean, we're just starting and it's so beautiful and it's so natural here. We didn't want to play too much with what we have surrounding. But to your point, Alan, it's going to grow and it is going to be so lush. You know, just a quick story. Our owner cleared trees off this beautiful plot of land and he said, I'm going to plant triple the amount of trees that I took away and this was the whole mentality of our owner and this is why we love working with them and this is I think as well why they selected Kempinski because we want to work with the local land, the local owners, we want to understand the people and the environment and be very synonymous with the environment. What a beautiful place, I mean you know I've talked to many people who know the Caribbean very well and almost nobody's really explored Dominica. They may have stopped here on a cruise, they may have had a little bit of an experience with it, but I think what this beautiful resort gives us is an opportunity to spend a longer length of time. You can go east, south, west, you're going to have quite a different experience depending where you end up. The waterfalls are world renowned. The biking through rainforest, the Diving is yet to really be fully explored here. Um, snorkeling for beginners. Whales, I heard. Yeah, a lot of whale watching. In fact, I've been told that they have the uh, largest population of whales for year round 
that you can see here. So it doesn't matter what time of year you're coming, you're going to have whale watching opportunities. So um, the people here are ready to show us their island. I think this is as well what I've experienced. They want to talk to you. When they say good morning, it's not a perfunctory you know, good morning. It's really, how are you? We're so happy to have you here. And I've felt very welcome here in Dominica. This island is an adventure. I mean, it basically, you go off and you, you climb and you hike and you snorkel and then you come back to five-star European luxury, which is great. That adventure also is an adventure to get here. Let's talk a little bit about that. I, I think that that's a great thing to raise. You know, we have a lot of flights through San Juan, through St. Martin, through Guadeloupe. There's a ferry access, an hour and a half on a ferry, should you be that adventurous. I think the point is that I would ask our wonderful travel advisors that are watching, just educate yourself. It's not a direct out of the US, which may be a major okay. feeder market. It'll come. I mean, we're talking about certain direct flights out of uh, New York, for instance. We're looking at what could we do out of Miami. But I think in the short term, it is what it is. You have to really decide you want to come. And I think, Alan, it's fair to say it won't be for everybody. If you want to take one quick flight and hop straight to here, no, no, no. You need to come through Barbados or some of the other places that I've mentioned. But I like the idea of potentially a dual stop, discover two Caribbean islands in one. I like the idea of the journey is part of the experience. I really like that idea. And I think it's genuinely fun to, to get here. You've got to be an adventurer yeah. with that spirit, absolutely. But we are looking at ways to make this easier for you and less hassle. Um, we're looking at a uh, concierge that is going to be about flights. So an activities concierge but beyond a flight concierge. So stay tuned for that. We're going to launch it and make all of this uh, questioning around how do you get here easily? We're going to make it much more simple for all of our travel advisors and our wonderful guests. But, but the planning, I've already witnessed it. We've had a panel today of uh, aviators. Um, um, we had uh, Colin Piper who is the uh, director director of, uh, of tourism, yes. who's uh, been working on this for months and months and months and months. And so it's, it's, going to, it's starting to happen already. Absolutely. Look, I mean, we had um, an amazing panel. We had a beautiful dinner last night. And this is where the chairman of the tourism industry was there. The Minister for Tourism uh, also came to see us. Honorable Robert Tong. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the Prime Minister has visited us. I mean, I think we have built this beautiful resort with range developments and now we wait for some of the rest of the infrastructure to catch up with us but again that's what you're saying it's about exploring it's about adventure it is untouched here i was told that the owner has gone so far as to help businesses grow to support the island and the resort they have they are instrumental in the roads having been built in some of the training facilities in some of the the shops and the boutiques simple as they may be it's beautiful and it's in keeping with what you would want from Dominica and the owners have been really genuine and heartfelt about their commitment to this island you guys are definitely listening to the travel advisors that are here. In fact, um, one of them mentioned, uh, is it possible to get rid of single-use plastics? And you jumped on the bandwagon and said, we will work on that. Oh, yes. They were referring to water, for instance. And of course, we've already uh, ridden ourselves Kempinski free of the plastic straws. Uh, we're now wor working on um, a more sustainable approach to our amenities, our lotions with Ferragamo, as an example. And of course, the water coolers, the longer life, uh, so single use plastic or the longer, longer life water opportunities, as an example. But we, ha we, we funnel our own water here. We cleanse our own water. We use solar. Uh, so there's a lot going on. Uh, in terms of that we, we want to make sure the vegetation is sustained here uh, local vegetable use etc so speaking of which you have an herb garden which is used for cooking we do and our chefs are so passionate here and they're really doing great things uh, you know we, we've had far too much to eat already I think Alan you'd agree <laughs> Let's talk about Kapinski, uh, what's new and what's old. It's still uh, been operating since 1897. And um, back when we spoke before, you had 76 hotels with more in the works. What are you up to now? So we're operating 80 hotels. We had a little bit of portfolio shift recently, and we're so excited that we've successfully opened two brand new beautiful hotels, Huangzhou and also Nanjing in China. We've 
also had um, such a success with the Aperva Kempinski in Bali. Uh, Oman, Musket Oman is really taking off for Kempinski now. And the Emerald Palace on the Palm. I think when we last spoke, I was talking about that pre-opening. We've now opened, it's now a year open, and it's um, just stunning. I mean, truly a palace on the Palm Jumeirah in Dubai. Uh Part of that mandate is your new CEO. Yes, so our new CEO, Martin Smura, has absolutely joined us with incredible passion. He is so vibrant, traveling the world, seeing our owners, of course, very important, talking about development deals. I think the audience will have read or heard of the Seven Pines Kempinski announcement, which will see Kempinski coming into America and New York more to come on that and also Ibiza which will reopen summer next year so I think these are two immediate developments that uh, he's been instrumental in we've also re-signed some of our key properties for a longer term so uh, I think we're going to see more of this exciting development with Martin Smura at the helm and uh, the energy is just you can really feel it it's fantastic what's to come we have another very busy year next year and I'm so excited about it. So we have a um, gorgeous project, our second hotel in Bangkok, Sindhorn Kempinski in Bangkok. This is going to be all about wellness and as we say, it's the me hotel. I'm allowed to look after me. So it's enormous spa beautiful food and beverage options all around healthy living, vegan living, as well as uh, regular menus there. Uh, and I can't wait to unveil this. This should be around May, June next year opening. We also have uh, Tbilisi that we're looking at opening uh, late next year and also Tel Aviv. So we're so looking forward to these more unusual projects. You know that we're a hotel that opens in pioneering destinations. Always with that European hospitality. Absolutely. Absolutely. Which is the, the, is the, the common thread. thread yeah. yeah, this is the thread that makes it very real and it, it feels as if you really are in a Kempinski hotel. Anything you want to tell our now 98,000 travel advisors? I can't believe I have the opportunity to really talk to you 98,000 travel advisors. But I just want to say, again, Kempinski is small and we say small is beautiful. We're very genuine, we're very small team and we greatly appreciate your amazing support to our company and our individual hotels. So thank you for all that you're doing for us. Thank you for talking to us. Pleasure. Anytime, Alan. This is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.